ID. I got the rest Clear. of your partial delivery. Take it. I even got some lost cargo for you along the way. Oh my god, was I really carrying all that on my back? That's so much. Oh! You made it. You made it. <laughs> That's a relief. God damn. Did you really carry this much all by yourself? I guess I had as a new holiday update. I just updated the game. And speaking of updates, there was a previous update that let me make the text bigger, so I turned it on because probably the text that we've been seeing so far is a tad too small for everyone to read comfortably. This text size should be a lot better now. And we're done with the partial delivery here, finally. You have been awarded the title of Courier. Few porters can match your talents in the field. You have achieved delivery volume grade 40. You can now carry more cargo. Okay, cool. Watch your back out there. No one else will. <laughs> Are you just gonna keep wearing that hat until the holidays end? New order <laughs> I guess so. Access delivery terminal for further information. Okay, so now that we've done this, our next order probably should be getting back to the main quest, which might even be the only order that we have here. Yeah, orders for Sam, that's the only one we have, but for bots? Delivering to the way station? Um, I could just take the zip line, but we'll just have a bot do this one. I don't want to keep going back and forth. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Are you gonna be okay, buddy? Okay. Alrighty then. The main quest wants us to deliver a bomb, so this is gonna be a pretty dangerous one, probably. Handle with care, avoid impact. From distribution center north of Mountain Knot City to the said Mountain Knot City. Oh, it's a little ship area that we saw before. If the theory that tar jets are somehow connected to the beach is correct, then Mountain Knot City may very well be in danger of being consumed by the other side. Which is why they need you to close off the ones in that region before it's too late. However, if we were to use an antimatter bomb, our scientists think it might be enough to sever the connection. They used to research antimatter propulsion technology here before the first expedition. Using antimatter sequestered by the beach, believe it or not. But those experiments were eventually suspended. The researchers never came close to developing anything workable, and the dangers were deemed far too great. When Bridges One arrived, they assumed control of their facilities and antimatter stores. To minimize the risk of a catastrophic annihilation, the antimatter was partitioned using special magnetic traps. We repurposed those traps to make the bomb. Once the magnetic field is removed, the antimatter comes into contact with the casing and triggers a void out. Now, it goes without saying, but if one of these things goes off en route, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. And to make matters worse, the traps weren't designed to be transported. Sure, the container carrying the bomb has a built-in stabilizer, but it's not something you want to tip over or drop. If those magnets fail, you're gone, along with everything else for miles around. Wonderful. So yeah, you could call this a dangerous delivery. But I can't think of anyone better equipped to handle it. Get it done, Sam. We're counting on you. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Mountain Knot City was a research lab, and I guess to prevent it from being swallowed, we're gonna try throwing a bomb at it. <laughs> is that really gonna help? I hope so. I hope so. Okay, first thoughts, just looking at the map here. <laughs> There's a lot of mountains in between. Probably we don't want to cut through it like that, right? Not like this white line here, but drive over it like this line over here suggests. That must be where the road goes, somebody else's delivery route. Here though, it seems like there's some kind of a mini base here. There's a lot of structures around. Bridges, watchtowers. Hmm. I'm not sure what this person was doing. Look at this line. 
There's people who have been like going straight down here and then going up the mountain. And then coming back down again. Everyone seems to meet at this point. So this point, is there something going on there? Hmm. Okay, well, from way station to the distribution center, what we did was we walked halfway, finished building the zip line, and then walked backwards, got the delivery, and then used the zip line to get back to the midpoint, and then kept walking. Can we do the same thing here? I'm a little bit worried because... Yeah, uh, we actually can't see it on the screen. Hold on. Somebody in the comments very kindly alerted me to something that I hadn't really been considering the whole time. If you look at the top there, it says my chiral bandwidth is 10,000 now out of 17,000. Because we've been building so many zip lines around here that we've kind of squandered away that bandwidth that we have. And with the 7,000 that we have left, one zip line costs 500, which means we can only make 14 more zip lines. And that's only if I don't want to make anything else too. No post boxes, no wash towers, no generators, nothing. <laughs> Not that I really make anything else these days anymore, but hey, still nice to have that option. From here to the way station. Oh my lord, I just made way too many. Look at all this crap. Look at all this crap. There's just so many. But um, roughly looking at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's say from here to here, it's roughly ten. From here down to Mountain Knot. I think it's probably going to be more than 10. Yeah, maybe we'll place a marker right here for now. It's a little ship place. If it's more than 10, then... That's hard. Plus... Yeah, according to our chiral network coverage right now, we just... The maximum of where we can get to with a zipline is here. But then after that, we still got like... What? Do I have to go around the river or can I cut through the mountain? I'm not sure yet at this point. But either way, what I want to say is that it's really far. How far is this distance? I'm not sure, but uh, it worries me a little bit. We do have some of other people's zip lines here. Maybe they can be helpful. One, two. But for the bulk of the network, if I do want to make one, it's got to be on me. So I don't like the sign. There's mules here. Caution. Mules in the mountains? Kind of makes sense, because that's a good place to ambush people. What's this? Is there some kind of structure here? Maybe I can check that out? Speaking of checking people out... Yeah, the novelist's son, whose lost cargo we picked up earlier. We can probably use this trip to find him too. And hopefully, he'll want to connect with us. But just thinking of this whole problem of zip lines versus maybe using a truck or even walking. And having a bomb, carrying a bomb on top of all of that. Okay, well, first of all, carrying a bomb, it's not going to be like last time with the hourglass, right? Because that one, we had to hold onto it with our hands. But for the bomb, I think we can put it in the truck at least. Or that's what I'm hoping anyway. So using a truck here... I don't know though, it's kind of scary. And how's the time fall looking? The mountains are okay, but the areas right between the mountains, <laughs> it's all time fall. And it doesn't really change. Okay. It seems like at the minimum, we can get to maybe up until this base area safely. Oh god, there's BTs here. This trip, we might need to prepare for both BTs and mules. For anything, really. But at the same time, if we're gonna be carrying a bomb, then we can't do any sort of engagement. Is it gonna be the kind of bomb where I can't put it down? Because the one that Higgs made me carry, it was gonna detonate if I left it alone. But this one is not gonna have that kind of function, right? <laughs> I hope not anyway. Oh, I'm so lost. What do I do? Maybe let's start by getting some stuff from the terminal. Yeah, how about that lost cargo? Organic fertilizer for the novelist's son. So we have his location because we have his cargo. But for the other people we don't know about... Mm, if we find them without cargo, is that okay? Can we still connect to them? I think so. 
But we can't just find people because we want to. That's kind of hard. Do we have enough supplies? We have quite a bit of PCCs. Stun bombs, bola gun. Bola gun? I almost want to bring one more of just because this one's almost dead. Plus, last time, we definitely used more than 24 bullets. But we do have a non-lethal assault rifle too, which is okay. Yeah, you know what? That might be okay. Hmm, okay. Fine. Ooh. Anything I want to make? A trike? Ladders? We have some climbing anchors. Maybe I'll make one ladder just in case. One should be enough, I hope. Yeah. Sure. Ooh, so much planning we gotta do here. I don't even know where to start, seriously. I'm trying to think of the best way, but... Like, I don't want to carry the bomb if we go to a new area just because it's kind of dangerous. But if we don't carry it, then we can't bring it over there because... We can't connect to Mountain Knot City in a zipline unless we connect to Mountain Knot City. First. If I accept it... Uh, okay, the novelist's son is over here. Wow, it's all the way in the middle of nowhere. And there's one more weird location here, too. Maybe I want to check that out, too? I don't know. <laughs> there's so much going on. Uh, can I accept the bomb and see what it looks like? I just want to see if I can put it down, okay? Are you gonna let me put it down? You better. Oh, um, I guess I can use somebody's truck for now. There's a level 3 truck here, and it's golden. Improved. Six additional battery units have been installed. Large amounts of cargo, which we don't have any of anyway. The only thing we have today is the bomb. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long-distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. My first instinct is to carry it in the truck. But if I drive unsteadily, then it can also go off. But thankfully, just looking at the description here, a very hazardous item, any strong impact may cause it to explode. An alarm will sound when this cargo is at risk. But it doesn't say if I leave it alone, it'll explode. So that's good. But I don't want to carry it by hand. <laughs> I can't carry it on my back though, because I've got too much crap on me. All this crap I have here probably would be better on the truck, right? Can I just offload this for now? Uh, did I not bring the truck out already? How come it's not an um, option here? Got a lot of bombs and a lot of crap here. PCCs. Yeah, these things can all go in the truck. I'm just scared. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Did I not get the truck out earlier? Hold on. I don't think I did. I must have pressed the wrong thing. Yeah. Right, it's still inside. Okay. So the bomb there. If I leave it alone, it's fine. All we gotta make sure is it doesn't get messed up. <laughs> okay, this is getting kind of scary already. No? Would you like to put it in the back of the truck? For now. The rest of the crap on me right now, like, this doesn't need to be on my person. This could go in the truck too, I think. Well, we'll see what happens. There is an alarm, so maybe we'll get some warning before anything bad happens. I think we'll have a better time if we use a floating carrier. 
But even with a floating carrier, it's not foolproof because sometimes the wire snaps and we can't go up and down climbing anchors. Which is bad because we're going up against a mountainous region here. Okay. So there's the novelist's son. And we're following the road here. There's pavers here. That's always a good sign. But how bumpy can my ride be before the alarm rings? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's something I'll find out. There was another interesting building over there, too. Maybe we can check that out later on. Okay, that was kind of scary. I thought going in the water might make the thing alarm. Well, ugh, there's little rocks here, too. I think we can probably bring the truck with us for a little bit, but in the mountain area, next to the rivers and stuff, that's probably not going to be a thing anymore. So yeah, I guess for now, we're not going to consider a zipline network. Because number one, I think it'll use up all my chiral bandwidth. Plus number two, we can't really get it to go that far. We can only make it to the midpoint of the delivery, and so we actually connect to Mountain Knot. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of driving too much here. Oh my god! Oh my god, already. How much damage? 1%. So that was a really, really light vibration. Very light. Which means I gotta be really, really careful here. Oh! Oh, you've got cargo right there. Hold on. Yeah, using a truck when there's no asphalt road. If we had one, that would be good. But again, we can't build the road all the way to Mountain Knot. Anyway, so even if I spend time building the road halfway through, it's not gonna help me get to the end point. You've got lost cargo right outside your house. What the heck, man? Are you just lazy or what? Fragile. None of these people are connected to the UCA, but they're all connected to Fragile. Hello? Novelist's son. Enter the maze. Entrapped. The spooks. Are these all real books? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> this guy doesn't even have a proper name. His sole identity is in relation to his dad. And it's weird to think about, because does that mean that he registered his name on the network as the novelist's son? <laughs> I'm guessing that's one of Kojima's friends. Okay. Do you want to join the UCA? Oh, we didn't even get one star. That was like 0 0.09 stars. Much obliged to you, friend. <gasps> no, he doesn't want to join us. I've got to be kidding me. Oh. Devices for gourd cultivation stolen by terrorists. Oh, you want me to go back all the way there? No, I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. I've got a bomb with me. By the way, the bomb. It's 1% damage right now, but I think at the very maximum, it can only take 40. At which, at first glance, didn't quite make sense, because handle with care, but then 40% damage. But if we keep doing little bumps on the truck, then I guess it's possible to, like, accumulate it up to 40%. Although that would be pretty bad. Stephanie Queen. Dude, that one seems like a real book. It's got a real cover and all, too. Okay, well, it's nice that we delivered to you, but you... don't want to join us. That's a bit of a shame. What about that building over there? Kind of curious about it. <laughs> Do I really have the time to be curious when I have a bomb with me, though? I don't know. 
Oh! This truck is fancy, by the way. It's gold-colored. And it seems like whenever we get inside the truck, there's like little chiral bits coming off of it. Where was that place? Right over there. Yeah? It's just that I saw this random building over here, and I'm curious about it. That's why I'm going over. Actually, it seems like there's quite a few buildings around here. Hmm. Hold on. If there's a watchtower... That's probably because there's something nearby worth watchtowering, right? Oh, shoot, maybe this is mule area. Uh... Oh my god! Even that counted as a bump? Seriously? Uh, in that case, I don't think driving a truck is a good idea. Let's find a place to abandon this then, because this is getting a bit too scary. We're really gonna end up getting 40% just by the vibrations. <laughs> Can I get back to the road or something? Where is the road anyway? Because I thought we were getting close to... The place where there was a whole bunch of structures. Oh no, where the heck are we now? No, I was trying to go over here. But what is that? Is that something right there? I guess we can go check it out. Since we're here anyway. <laughs> I'm really worried about the bomb though, oh my god. The alarm hasn't gone off, so taking this little bit of damage is okay. And I don't think we have to worry too much because the end goal of this bomb is to be exploded. So current damage to it is probably okay, I guess. At least the weather is nice. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, look at all these rocks. Oh no, did I jinx myself? <laughs> There's nothing here. I thought there would be more. Yeah, we can't really see anybody around here. Mmm, this whole area. If we can connect to the novelist. Wow, your area's huge. Yeah, if we can connect to him, then probably we get access to this place. But otherwise, like, these chunks are pretty big, though. And right now, we just don't know where anybody is. Okay, forget it. Let's turn back. And we'll probably end up parking the truck where all the structures are with a watchtower and all. Hopefully not under the time fall here. That's somebody's cargo. Don't got time for the distribution center right now. No. <laughs> and I'm too worried about driving too fast too. Oh my god. How come I didn't have to go through this when I came here? <laughs> I can't live like this. Oh my gosh. I just want to get back to that one area. Which is... That's Mountain Not City. How far can I go with the truck? Um, again, I don't think this is feasible just because we'd have to be driving at snail speed. So let's just find a nice place to kind of get rid of this and get going. But can I carry it on my back though? Because I got a whole bunch of stuff on me. If that little location there had a post box... Oh, it's got a few zip lines. Yeah? One here, one here. But I don't see a post box. Maybe that's my cue to build one myself. Hmm. I'll think about it once we get there. I think it's right in front of us. I'm too scared to boost. <laughs> but right now, I am going at top speed. Without boosting. It's not much, but... Oh. It scares me because whenever we go in the water, there's a bit of vibration on my controller. Gourds keep evil at bay. Oh, there's a dirt road! Okay. At least we know we're in the right place. And there's a bridge right over here. Oh god, no, time fall. 
Oh, that's definitely a mule cam. <laughs> oh, there's no post box here, but there is a safe house. So probably what I can do is just... Is this too early to give up on the truck, though? Because I'm looking around here. Probably to get over there, we either gotta cut directly through the mountain or walk along the river here. Hmm. Thinking. What's this song? I got no clue, but don't play, please. It's probably copyrighted. <laughs> okay, if I'm in the truck, I can't mess with the cargo, so let's get out. Okay. And... Yeah, because I'm carrying too much crap on me right now. I do have a floating carrier. Is that a good idea, though? Yeah, we can do this. And then just carry that with us. The rest of this, PCCs, we can also put on it. Can we sort of like, sandwich the thing? So that it doesn't get hurt? Even if I accidentally do bump around stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping. Yeah, just kind of squish up the floating carrier a bit. Make sure the bomb is fit snugly. Okay, I guess we can do this for now, but uh, even this stuff here. Do I want all of this on me? Well, maybe, because these things are weapons, right? But hopefully we'll never have to come to using weapons. That's really the big thing here. Yeah, how about we just do this for now? Right. Would the bomb be safer on the floating carrier or on my back? Just thinking. <laughs> I got no clue. But uh, I'll try this for now. And um, why don't we put this truck back into the garage? Thank you for lending me your truck. Thank you very much. It's a fancy truck. And since we're here anyway, I think we should make use of the wash tower. Okay, if it falls down that little elevation, it doesn't violently fall down. That's good to know. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go engage the mules. Not with a bomb on me. Oh! Do I need to equip the blood bag again? Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting good at that now. Evading the ping. But we should probably still get out of here soon because they have an entire camp of people that I don't want to mess with with a bomb around me. They have a truck person! No, no. Now's no time for trucks. I trust myself more than I trust a truck. We do have some zip lines here. Which we can't use if we're using a floating carrier. Going up the mountain probably isn't something we want to do anyway, though. While we're carrying a bomb with us. <laughs> okay. Um, I can probably switch to the speed skeleton so that we can walk around a bit faster. But I'm also kind of scared that with speed comes uncarefulness. So for now, let's try to just... Uh, I don't know, how fast do I want to go? Mountain Out City is... This way. If I look on the map here... Yeah, I roughly just gotta follow the river and... Oh my god, is that gonna be like snowy mountains? Looks like snow. I guess we'll see. I am curious about the zip lines though, especially since I've got a whole bunch of PCCs on me right now. But you know what? No, let's prioritize safety. It'll be good to walk around anyway, so we can collect some chiral crystals, some crypto biotes.
Why don't we try using some other equipment today? Not the hat. But maybe the sunglasses? Yeah, take off the hat. We're trying to blend in here, not stand out. <laughs> the sunglasses I messed with last time. Oh yeah, it's clear now. Well, it looks kind of weird, but eh, whatever. We'll get used to it. Oh, lovely. A faint rainbow in the distance telling me that, hey, you're gonna be up to some trouble soon. We already know, though, because somebody warned us that there was gonna be BTs around here. And falling rocks? Hopefully there's no falling rocks around here. That zipline is pretty high up. We can probably connect it to somewhere nice, but... Again, this one's really close to the edge of the network, I think. If we check again here. Yeah, I mean, at the very maximum, I can get it over here, but that doesn't really do much for me right at this point. And driving here was okay, so I don't think we need to build a zipline from here, or from the distribution center to here. More stuff is deteriorating, apparently. And now that I made the text bigger, <laughs> the little help text is really big. It's covering a lot of the screen. Guess that's just something we'll have to get used to. Okay, we can go out of our way a little bit. Yeah, you know what? How about we try switching to the speed skeleton? If we can finish this job faster, that's one way that we can not be so scared all the time too. Yeah. Not a curiosity. Do I want to walk around up here? Probably not. Let's go down this way. Okay, I'm gonna try running a little bit and see if that's okay with the carrier. But maybe not too fast and not over rocks. I'm still not too sure right now if bringing the bomb with me is a good idea, but normally, if we're being careful, we usually don't have too much trouble with messing up the cargo delivery. So hopefully that's gonna apply today too. And now we're completely disconnected from the chiral network. Oh, check that out. Seems like there's a complete change in the biome up there. Those trees look a little bit funny. What's wrong with them? Okay, so preliminarily, it seems like running around with the speed skeleton is still okay. As long as I'm not running over rocks. Oh, those are power lines! They're not trees! Did this used to be a town? Snowy mountains are definitely in sight.
Oh, I think we're here already. Well, that was pretty uneventful. I thought we were gonna see BTs and stuff, but it's right here. Oh, whoa, what's going on over there? That was such a short trip, I didn't even finish using my battery for the speed skeleton. I think that's the tar pits they were having problems with. Whoa. It's probably not a good idea for me to step in it, huh? It kind of looks like they've got little apartments here. But the place has noticeably slanted down. Because originally, this probably wasn't a hole. And there's things floating above it. Maybe a connection to the beach. What we ended up doing was, we just went all the way around. That was our route. That was short. Verifying ID. Just had to make sure to be careful, that was all. all will be until the Cargo Thank you. The suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Alright. Aaron Hill. Hey, got your bomb. It's 2% damaged, but should be okay. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Wait, what? Where's the guy? This guy's doing the pizza guy thing. He's not coming out. What the heck? Oh my god, it's 6% actually. Still got an S. Oh, the board game. That was what the bot was delivering. Hey, these bots are getting smarter. Good. Skilled courier already with one delivery. Keep up the pace as you race to the edge of our world and back again. Hmm, cargo condition grade 40. It will now be harder for you to lose consciousness. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. Corallium? We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you <laughs> right there, Mama? What? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right, enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochner. Lochner? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Are they twins? Mama and Lochner? Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network, and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One, went west with the others. 
Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Oh. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingen's accident. Lochner left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochner around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. I did recognize the name, Lochner. Mama said that's the person we're looking for for the software update. If we had a chance to explain to her that that's why we're here, then maybe she would be okay with it. Cause her concern is with the chiralium in the atmosphere too, right? And the whole reason why we want to update the Cupid is because we want to make it so that there is a chiralium limit, is what I remember. At first, I thought Sam was implying that Mama was playing dress up. To kind of pretend that she's not who she is and to scare us off. But no, they're twins. Oh, so we can't do anything here. They don't want to connect with us. That wasn't even Aaron Hill, though. That was... Lochna. Peter Englert. Oh my god. Yet another earnest entreaty for pizza. My dear Mr. Sam Bridges. Tis I, your most devoted admirer and obedient servant, Peter Englert. Heart? You are doubtless aware of the momentous occasion which demands celebration on this very day. Surely not, of course, for I would be shocked if you knew that it marks another year since the joining of myself and my beloved wife in the bonds of holy matrimony. As you may suspect, there is only one way in which we would commemorate the birth of our union. Pizza. You will not begrudge me my continued impudence, I hope. But how could you? It is only natural that for our sacred anniversary, I would seek to procure one of the incomparable pies that only you can provide. I say one, but could we be so bold as to impose upon you for two? And if they could be topped with gouda cheese, that would be magical. They should be waiting for you at the Time Fall Farmer's Shelter. They provided the wheat for the dough, and I do believe they've taken the liberty of tossing in a bottle of their magnificent beer to boot. Thanks as ever, you really are a saint. Of course you would have to pick that one location where there's no road. Timefall Farmers? That's pretty far, but if we can get it... There's a mule thing, though. I remember, there's a mule camp right between the Timefall Shelter and the pizza guy. <laughs> Aaron! Would you speak to Mama for me? Good news, Sam. The antimatter bomb should be... should stop the tar from spreading. Thanks for that. You really saved our bacon. I wasn't able to connect the Cupid, though. Lochna stepped in to stop me. She might not be in bridges anymore, but she still calls the shots around here. Wasn't much I could do after that. It's not like I could ignore her. You know, she's changed a lot ever since Mama got caught up in all that terrorism stuff. Stands to reason, of course. What with her relationship? Still, even if it's not my place, I've gotta ask. Could you go and talk to Mama about it? I've got a feeling they could patch things up if they just started talking to each other again. If you do decide to go, check your private locker. I left you some extra supplies. Should help you get to Mama's lab safe and sound. Thanks again, Sam. Okay. Gourds keep evil at bay. Mr. Sam Bridges, thank you so, so much for bringing that cargo all the way out here. I must say, I didn't think I'd ever get the chance to meet the man I'd heard so much about. I respect your mission to try to rebuild the America of yore, though I can't say if it's got anything to do with me. Frankly, I'm not even sure if I agree with it in principle. I really am grateful, though. Thanks to you, my life works got back on track. My beloved gourds are looking more healthy and lively than ever. Admittedly, the ideal climate for gourds would be warmer than what we've got here, but I've managed well enough, all things considered. I hope my father would be proud. Though he made a living as a novelist, 
He was also something of a gourd enthusiast. I felt compelled to carry on his legacy one way or the other, and since I'm no wordsmith, I really only had one choice. You know, I read somewhere that gourds used to be considered very lucky in the Far East, and that they were used as charms to ward off evil. Kind of like that dreamcatcher of yours, come to think of it. Yeah, gourds. You can also use them as water bottles. <laughs> okay. So I gotta go back to Mama then? And maybe Peter Engler too. You have some supplies for me, Aaron Hill? Okay. Thank you so much. I don't need these things though. I've got them. Bridges Boots level 3. I don't have level 3, right? Yeah, I've only got level 2. Okay, I'll definitely take that. Durability has been further enhanced. Impact resistance, reducing damage, no bumpy landings. Spikes have also been added to improve grip on slippery surfaces. Okay, cool. Should I wear it right now? Why not, I guess. I'll leave that pair in here. What a shame! We've gone to this new place, but we can't do much here. And all we gotta do is walk back now. Well, the easiest way for us to get back to Mama or Peter Englert. I thought that we would be abandoning that area forever, but it turns out that we're gonna go back anyway. Which is good, because now I get a chance to use my road. My brand spanking new road. Uh, so are you guys gonna like... Throw that bomb down there now, or what? Just out of curiosity, am I allowed to touch the tar at all? Am I gonna die? It's so shiny. If I just walk across here... No, it's just kind of icky. But I don't think we want to try going in there, though, because that's bottomless. There's some kind of vague smoke coming out of it. Yeah, let's let's leave this place alone for now. 